What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys today just a short video explaining to you guys how division rivals works in FIFA 22. They changed it for me it was confusing so I can also imagine that for a lot of other people it will also be confusing in the beginning. So that's why I'm making this video. So let me begin by explaining how the division system works and then after that I can explain the rewards. So the weekly rewards and then also the seasonal rewards and also after that foot champions. So first of all, you start at Division 10 and you have to move up in steps. So every time you win, you go one step up. Every time you lose, you go one step down. And this stays the same for every division. If you draw, nothing happens. So a draw for the division system is basically useless. So for example, to go from rank 2 in Division 10 to rank 1 in Division 10, you need two wins. So that's kind of two steps. You guys can also see that you have these little flags. So on rank 2 you have a flag, on rank 1 you have a flag, and also on the step between rank 2 and rank 1 you have a flag. These are checkpoints. If you reach these checkpoints, you can never go back. So once you reach that point, in kind of the timeline of the divisions, you could say, you can never go back. Doesn't matter how many times you lose. For example, if we go up in divisions, in division 8, between rank 3 and rank 2, you can see that there is no checkpoint anymore. So that means... Over here, to go from 3 to 2, you need 2 wins, but you can't lose in between. So in Division 10, you had like a checkpoint where you could kind of rest and you could just lose as much as you want. But if you don't have a checkpoint anymore between the two ranks, you basically need to do 2 wins or maybe even more in the higher divisions without losing. You can still draw, of course, but you can't lose. So for example, over here in Division 3, from rank 3 to rank 2, it's 3 wins that you need. Also, no checkpoints between them. So that's three wins without losing. And in Division 1, it's even four wins without losing if you want to move up a rank. The highest that you can reach is basically the Elite Division. I have no idea though if in the Elite Division there is also like separate ranks. But the highest is the Elite Division. So basically to summarize it, you move up in steps. Some steps you have a checkpoint. If you reach this checkpoint, you can never go back. So for example, if you reach Division 3, Rank 2, you can never go back. Only at the end of the season, they will move you down a couple of divisions, but that's something else. So in a season, you can never go back from a checkpoint. So that's kind of good. If you ever reach a checkpoint, that means you can never fall down. So if you're ever on a losing streak, it won't do anything. But at the end of the season, like I said, they reset it kind of and you go down like three or four divisions. Now for the weekly rewards, it's very simple. First of all, it depends on your rank and your division. So the higher the rank and the vision, the better, of course. And then second of all, the amount of wins that you got in that week. So first of all, you can get three wins, for example. Then you get the first rewards. And then if you have seven wins, you get the second rewards. So everything above seven wins that you get in one week, it won't help with your rewards. The only way that you could then make it better is just by moving up divisions. But for example, if you're someone that always stays in the same division, you can't move up, then just get 7 wins every week and then you will always get the max rewards that you can get. Also, for example, if you get 3 wins, for example, in Division 10 and then you get 4 wins in Division 9 or just with any other division, then it counts as 7 wins in total and then you get the rewards for 7 wins in the highest division that you reached. So you don't have to get... Seven wins in the division that you just got in. It's enough if you just get seven wins in total in one week. I hope that was kind of clear. So besides the weekly rewards, you also have a seasonal reward that you will get. This is also based on your division and on the games that you played. So this season is going to end in 42 days. And basically what they look at at this is the amount of games that you played. So for example, if you want to reach the highest milestone, you have to complete 90 games. So right now I'm at 24 if I reach 90 games, then I get milestone 3 rewards. Then they also look at your division. For example, if you move up a division, you will get better rewards, of course. But your total games stay the same if you move up a division. So for example, if you play 20 games in Division 9, then you move up to Division 8. You play another 30 games, then in total you have 50 games. So you don't have to play another 90 games every time that you move up a division. So the same with the weekly rewards. You don't have to win seven times again every time you move up a rank so just the total amount of games that you played in that season will depend which milestone that you're at so it's either 20 50 or 90 and then the division that you're at at the end of the season that will depend for which division you will basically get seasonal rewards so very similar to the weekly rewards but then instead of wins it's basically games so then there's also for champions. For champions, first of all, 1,500 points to qualify. These points, you just earn them by playing games and division rivals. 
Now, first of all, you have the playoffs. In the playoffs, you have nine games. If you want to reach the finals, you need at least rank two. And rank two is 24 points that you need to have in these nine games. Keep in mind over here, a win is four points and a loss is one point. Then if you actually reach rank two or higher, you will go to the finals. In the finals, you start back from zero points, but now you have 20 games. In these 20 games, again, a win is four points, a loss is one point. And then if you want to reach rank one, it's 68 points that you need. So let's just say 20 games, you won all of them. That's 80 points. If you want to reach rank one, that's 68 out of 80. So that's actually pretty hard. But of course, if you reach this, the rewards are also pretty good. So guys, that was basically it. Hope everything was clear. If you guys have any questions at all, just ask me in the comments. I always try to answer everyone. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my other videos as well. Let me know what kind of other FIFA 22 videos you guys would like to see. Check out my Discord in the description and peace out you guys.